Heavy Miner's Helmet engaged. Oh yeah, I'm a miner now guys. Look at me. I am awesome. What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Zig and Bagel here and welcome back to another episode of Pixark. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to tap that like button and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, we are back and today we plan on making the industrial smelter and getting into vaults as well. So, to start off things first, I didn't really show you guys how to do the painting very much, but I did something between the episodes here. Other than just collecting more resources, which I know you're going to need a lot of. So, I went and built this little glass area around where our elevator is. And I'm going to go ahead and paint it here. So, this is the, what do they call it in Pixar? It is the spray gun. I have black dye on it. And most things i found have only had like two color regions. So, I think we're just going to keep region 1 because it's the wall. I don't think it has anything else. But, all you have to do with this guy, shoot it, left click, and bada bing, bada boom. You've colored it. I will tell you that every time you shoot it, it does use up uh, part of your die, no matter if you uh, are painting something or not. So, if I was to shoot this guy again, I am using up die without doing anything. So, you want to be careful not to accidentally shoot the same thing or you're just wasting die but if you don't care that much you can always just go brah like that to uh, get things done quickly so there's one side of it just like so nice and quickly like that and we're just gonna do this to uh, get it over with but I definitely like basically tinting our glass it looks much, much better that way. But I have seen this glass be painted th colors like blue. And I'd say that blue looks pretty good as well. Okay, I guess I need to finish that portion. I didn't go far enough. I will do that later though. I don't want to waste your time too much. But I just show you guys this. And just like an arc, you can use the paintbrush to see exactly what the color regions are and what they will do for you oh yeah there we go mucho mucho better and that also if you run out of dye all you have to do is push control when you have this guy on you and if you do control it'll automatically fill up your spray gun with the last dye color that you had in there so very good tips you don't have to uh, lose which color regions you have selected because doing that you will not lose your color regions it will all stay there very nicely okay very very good so without further ado let's get rid of this guy and come over here and we I have all the things available to be able to make the industrial smelter it takes 20 iron 30 copper and what was it I think 40 electronics let's see here uh, it might might have been 30 electronics. I did go out and do some looting and leveling up. So, let's see here. Uh, that's what I was doing. Industrial smelter right here. It is, yet yeah, 20 iron ingots, 40 electronics, and 30 copper ingots. Let's go ahead and craft it. We're doing it. We have crafted the industrial smelter. Now we just need to find a good place to put you. Which, okay, wrong button. Uh, by the way, I hope you guys are having a great day. My day is going quite well, and I'm excited to be working on more advancements in technology. Uh, in this episode, uh, I told you I'm going to get into vaults as well. I'm also thinking about in this episode that I'll move all my crafting things and everything into this new room. So this dome will be our entire crafting building. Okay. That looks like... Is that correct? Okay. Now it's correct. Let's see. I wish you could get these to straighten out better. But it's not going to do it. So hopefully right here. 
We've done it! We have built the industrial smelter! It's perfect! So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six... Yeah, looks about to be six blocks high. Very, very cool. And I have some gas on me because I figured it would take gasoline. Yep, requires gasoline to operate. Put unrefined resources in this to refine them. Okay, so the only things you can make in here is gasoline, steel, and tempered glass. I was hoping I wouldn't have to build one of the regular smelters, but it looks like you still have to have one of them. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So let's go ahead. I'm going to need to make some steel to make all those vaults. So let's go ahead and uh, see here. It takes iron and coal. Okay, very, very cool. So I'm going to have to get some of that momentarily. Let's put our gasoline in there and come over here and grab some beautiful irons and coal. Let's see here. Yep. Uh, let's grab two stacks of the iron and coal is in here. I didn't check to see what the ratio was. I probably should have. But I'll just grab two stacks of coal as well and we'll go check out the ratio right now. Okay, so what's the ratio of you for steel ingots? Okay, it's one to one. Very, very cool. So we should be able to make 200 steel right now, which should be good for a while. I think it's, let's see, 30 steel per vault. I might actually not have enough there. I might have to keep making more steel because I'd like to make 10 vaults. Let's see, 15, okay. So, yeah, okay, yeah, that should be plenty of steel right there. We'll actually have leftovers for when we're able to do the steel materials, or uh, the steel, like, pick and hatchet and all those things, the axe. Let's see, I'll actually find those. I believe metallurgy, I think we unlocked them at level 70. That's why I was trying to do some leveling, hoping that we could try to get there before this episode, but I wasn't able to. Okay, not in here. Because uh, at level 70 is also when you can unlock the lamps, like the electronic powered lamps, which I can't wait to have some electronic lighting in here. Oh, it would be so, so great. Oh, we can make this heavy miner's helmet. I didn't even notice that. Okay, we will have to build one of these guys uh, as well for this episode so we can go check them out and see if it's any better than our candle helmet. Okay, very, very cool. It's pretty expensive, but we'll uh, we'll definitely get to it. Just trying to see if there's anything else we could do. We could make these steel sets of armor if we want to. We might. We'll have to check it out. Yeah, I am looking forward to level 70. We unlock a lot of good things, like the steel axe and pickaxe. And yeah, very, very exciting. So I am looking forward to it. I hope you guys are as well. So... Without further ado, let's go ahead and craft this steel. Turn on, and we're doing it. Oh, that goes pretty quick. I like it. So I'm definitely going to make sure to be bringing my gasoline crafting over here from now on. And the tempered glass is very interesting. We might have to look at it and see how different it is compared to the regular glass here in the future. Okay, steel. We are making it. It does it two at a time okay I'm just trying to check here oh quantity five six okay I, I thought it was making two at a time but it's not okay very very cool well I'm gonna go ahead and work on crafting up a bunch of steel so we can get some work done so I will be right back all right we're back so yeah I've gotten quite a bit done. I got, what, 300 steel all ready to go over here so we can start crafting our vaults. Uh, okay, good. I can still move. I'm glad. Let's go ahead, come over here, and start getting those vaults of crafting here. I'm sorry that I didn't make sure to check and see how much it would uh, give us for XP on that industrial smelter. Let me just check our XP right now. We have 94,209, 94,209, 94,209, okay, what do we have, 
We had 94 to... Okay, so it was basically just one experience. That's kind of... Uh, that's kind of ridiculous. Yet, just a little bit. Okay, so... Vault. At least they craft quite quickly. So, let's craft another... Hmm. I'm just trying to think here. 13... I'm just trying to think, da 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 yeah, okay, craft item. Okay, well those guys are crafting. I went ahead and I started to build all the other structures. I took out the stuff in here as we did it, so that I would remember what we had done and transferred over. So let's go ahead, I gotta take away this guy, so demolish you, demolish you and demolish you like a so okay very nice so i also got one of you but i'm not going to get it just quite yet because i have all these resources inside of it and that would weigh me down at the moment i'll worry about that between episodes doing all the transferring of resources and such i do have you done though so let's go ahead and demolish you like a so very, very nice. Let's check and see if our vaults are done yet. Okay, they are done. They are complete. Let's go ahead and head up top to our other area. I'm going to keep the downstairs as our powered area for industrial machines. And up here is our area for the non-industrial machines. This time I, tried to, I decided to do two of the ice cellars so we'd have plenty of good storage for keeping things cool i know we'll have refrigerators soon but still it's good it's cheap it only takes uh ice to keep it running so very very exciting so i got all these guys set up over here i have let's see our feed pot which i haven't even looked at yet have him set up here and he makes bait drag it onto a fishing rod and then you can go fishing oh cool so use meat, truffle, and medjo berries. That's actually not too bad. I just haven't even tried any fishing yet in the game. We might have to try that here soon though. And this is the cooking pot. We can make bamboo shoot soup. Oh, interesting. Uh, rock carrot soup. Bread. Hmm. And truffle soup. We can actually work on trying to make some of these things soon. We might save an episode here soon for fishing. And making foods. Alright, so I got all these guys over here. All my crafting machines. And over here is the magic area. So we have our alchemy stove, our inscription book, our cauldron, and of course our magic workbench. So very, very good. We're going to go ahead and start to lay these vaults down. Oh, wow. They are two blocks wide. Okay. You there. You there. And you there? I thought they were smaller. Oh, did I place... Oh, I placed those guys backwards. Oh, that's always a pain. In the burt. In the burt. Yep, indeed. Okay, so two of you there. Like a so. Now the big fun part is figuring out other places to put them. Let's go ahead and do... You like this. Okay, good, good, good. And I think I'm going to put one near the magic area. Like this. Okay, good, good, good. And one, okay, maybe not right there. Uh, uh, so much stuff, it's bouncing me around. It's going to be a tight fit up here, but that is okay. We're getting into more industrial things. So yeah, look at that. It's a tight fit, but we are doing quite well. I'm just seeing here, how many do we have up? We have four here. We have seven and eight, nine. Okay, that should be decent to start with. I'll probably combine some things. Down below though, we'll have some over here. So how many do we have left? We have six that's weird okay uh yeah so let's go ahead and put one of them down right like so right next to our 
Fabricator. Very, very nice. We'll go ahead and put a guy over here as well. Good, good. So that could be kind of our raw materials one. Okay. And not sure about the other guys quite yet. I'll just save those for when the time arises. But yeah, I think that will do it. We have all these beautiful vaults set up. They're, they're okay looking. I actually, hey, before we close off for this episode, let's see about painting them and see if that will actually make them look better. So I will grab, let's see, you and you and you and you. Okay, good, good, good. Because I want to see if we can make these guys look less weird and purple and more awesome and amazing. So you, right here. So I still have four vaults. I thought I was only made like 14 of them. So kind of weird. Anyway, let's see. Put you here. And zero. Okay, doesn't seem to do anything when I try to shoot it with this. Can I do... Okay, applied dye. So color region two. Ah, okay, that's why it didn't work. Because of the color regions are two and five. Oh, you can only do that's that's kinda weird. I wish you could paint the main thing of it. They might add more color regions in the future. But let's see, we got two and five. So let's go ahead and go back to our gun and two and five. Oh yeah, slightly better-ish. It's something, at least. Ooh, oh yeah, repainting things. I love it. Okay, well, I'm probably just going to go around and do stuff like that between episodes. Hey guys, it's me, Zig and Bagel here. Sorry about this, but I uh, totally forgot, and I'm adding this before the sign-off for today's episode, and uh, I love how that big poop is right in the foreground pretty awesome. I forgot to uh, go ahead and check out the heavy miner's helmet. So let's go ahead and do that now because I, uh, I want to make sure to uh, sneak that in for today's episode. So let's go ahead and do that. I believe I have the material materials. So helmet right here. Heavy miner's helmet gives 10 armor. Very, very cool. Provides strong physical protection, but makes the elements harder to endure. Comes with a built-in light source. Okay, we are building it. We are building the Miner's Helmet. It is done. Okay, I'm excited to see how this guy looks. But first, we're going to go outside to check him out because I want some space. Okay, right here by the front door. Okay, you guys ready? Intense music is playing. It's ready for us to put it on. So let's go ahead. Where, where are you? Okay, right here. Primitive, heavy, miner's helmet, engaged. Oh yeah, I'm a miner now, guys. Look at me. I am awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and check out how well this guy does at lighting. Oh, oh my. Oh, that that is, that looks so much better. Let's head down to the main mine shaft area real, real quick so we can see just how well this guy does. That's pretty cool. Okay, not moving. And let's go ahead and switch over real quick. It's hard to tell down here because it's so light with the buggy light sourcing. But it feels like the candle guy is pretty close range light and the heavy miner's helmet is Definitely further range light. Look at that. You can shine it a lot further. So that's very, very cool. Well, yeah, that is the Heavy Miner's Helmet. I'm going to go ahead and send you guys back to the outro. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the Heavy Miner's Helmet. But, whoa, 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 really, whoa, oh gosh, really far away. Well, yeah, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. It was fun getting the uh, industrial smelter up and running, getting our vaults going. And just basically having fun doing it, getting everything moved into our dome. So we have everything all centralized in our crafting area. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to share your support and tap that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the daily videos. 
Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, don't forget to live long and prosper.